All right, so this is a gonna be an interesting trip through town. I'm just gonna do a quick loop through the downtown of Canton. Um, this time of night, all the traffic lights are switched to blinking yellow or red. Uh, so just gonna see what the car is gonna do with a bunch of blinking lights. Wow, it was really close to that guardrail. It's never gone over to the side like that. Nice stop and look. And should have gotten directly in the left lane there. I think it just has some trouble when it can't see in the turn. So when the light was sunlight was blinding it, and then here at night when it's uh, really dark, um, just had some issue making that turn smoothly. During the day, in the middle of the day, it does just fine there. Alright, getting in the left lane as it should. little jerky. I think it couldn't find the lane right away. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and slow us down ahead of time. I've already seen a couple cops, uh, so I just don't want to make sure that it's not speeding. It's blinking yellow. It should not stop here. So the car was trying to stop. It actually showed a red light on the screen for a second. So all of the lights through downtown right now are blinking yellow. And it's trying to stop. I hit the accelerator. Come on. So let's see, I'm going to change my destination up here. And it's trying to stop at this yellow light.
and it's trying to stop at this yellow light, giving it accelerator. And now there's someone behind me, I don't want to let it stop. And it showed red for a second there. I got too close to that curb, so I took over. And it's trying to stop for this yellow light. It's showing red for a second there. Yep. Um, left lane. And it's gonna try to stop for this one, so I'm going to give it accelerator. So, I bet it's going to stop for this one as well. Yep, it is trying to stop. This car is right behind me, so not going to let it do that. And good, they're turning. Alright, so here we've got another yellow and it's trying to stop way back here um, there's a police officer all right give it a little accelerator again and there we go lots of uh, interventions uh, giving it acceleration to tell it to go at blinking yellow lights um, one, no, two disengagements for getting too close to things, uh, which seems to be an issue at night, um, not so much during the day in the same areas. I'll have to look and see how it rendered that curb, if it did at all, uh, when it was getting way too close to it, um, as well as that guardrail. So I'm actually going to slow the car way down manually and see if it can make this turn if I set it down to 10 miles per hour. And there's a wall there, so you need to make that turn better. All right. So now we'll reset our destination, and the car is stopping for no reason. to slow way down on this road. Actually gonna take us um, back to town. We'll see how it does looping back the other direction. It did that turn okay. I would have given it a little bit of a wider turn there. Needs to slow down. All right. So, pulling into the middle of the road right here is okay right now, but during the day you have to stay on your side. And yeah, it's having a hard time at night, I think. It does not have these issues during the day. And needs to make that turn wider. The curb sticks out right there in that curve. 
and slow down. I don't think it could see that. Set it at 22 here. All right, so this stop sign is actually for the road that's next to me up on the hill, not for this road, but it's gonna stop at it. So I hit the accelerator. That's not a turn, so it should not turn the turn signal on. All right, so coming from this direction, it's a blinking yellow light, which it should treat as a stop sign. And I'm ready to take over in case it doesn't because there's a police officer sitting right there. So, not sure why that car is just sitting. Right, so I'm going to tell it to go. There's no traffic. So here is a blinking yellow. It's showing red on the screen every once in a while. See, it showed red right there. Um, I'm guessing that's why it stops sometimes. So this light from this direction is blinking red. We should stop completely as if it were a stop sign. And completely blind to the left. I cannot see anything. The car can't see anything. Um, so I'm going to tell it to go a little. And I guess I have to tell it to go again. All right. This is not a turn. It should not put a turn signal on and it should not stop. Oh, it is extremely confused um, so I'm going to cancel and let's see I'll set a destination again um, so we'll go there And I'll go ahead and get over and re-enable full self-driving. All right. So as you can see so far, lots of extra stopping that it shouldn't do. Um, so it's probably going to stop here. And this is also not a turn. It should just go. No turn signal needed.
and you can see it blinks red every once in a while on the screen um, and it's stopping again so I'm giving it accelerator okay can go faster now so yeah obviously it has no idea how to handle blinking yellow lights um, and why is it not getting in the turn lane? Oh. I think it has a really hard time when it can't see. It does not do any of this during the day. But it's having a lot of issues not being able to see the lines and the curbs. And no, it should stay in this lane. All right, it's, it needs to go left. The tentacle is going back and forth. Um, it should stay in the right lane, which it kind of did, but it was jerking back and forth. Um, so it still has issues there. It turned way too wide onto the road. I'm completely in the other lane. It can't see the lines here because they're almost non-existent. Uh, but it needs to make sure it stays to the right. I'm really hoping 10.4 changes that. That will solve a lot of my disengagements um, where it's on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, so as you can see, I mean, it can't see anything ahead. It's doing its best to make predictions. Um, but, you know, it's a completely blind turn here. It doesn't, doesn't know where the road's going. so there you have it um, very interesting drive tonight uh, we we're coming home in the Model Y and I decided I wanted to try that out in this car with full self-driving with those blinking lights so there you go thanks for watching